Woo. Yes, fellow Uber drivers. <laughs> this is what I do when I'm not driving. I literally get up and run every day. This is how I deal with the customers. You know, you know how to get in your car and then say hello? <laughs> I literally have an answer because once I come out here and do this 30 miles, which I do every day, Monday to Friday, Saturdays I think I do more. It, it, it just gives me ease. You know, it makes me realize that as an Uber driver, that doesn't mean it's the end or <laughs> this is not a job. And it's really amazing, you know, how people don't know what background you come from, you know. Being a, a be, being an Uber driver, <laughs> you know, people are literally thinking, ah, oh, he just an Uber driver. And I've said it there that we are a bunch of educated people, but it's just that some of us, you know, this is the lifestyle that I live. When I'm not driving, this is what I do. Yeah. I almost stole my app on. I thought I was going to pick up a customer and I heard it ran. Can you imagine going out to a customer's house and you're running shoes? Oh, yeah, where you going? <laughs> I almost did that this morning. <laughs> Which you know what, I'm gonna go out there. It's been really slow actually. And this is how I deal with the whole situation. I don't let it get to me. Because uh, one thing that people don't talk about, when people get in your car, they can be a little bit obnoxious. <laughs> and especially for me, when they see an African name, ah, oh, their tone of voice just changed. It's ridiculous. And I, I, I don't get upset because I know a lot of them, can you imagine someone that's getting in your car? But yeah, they've been so rude. And one thing I've always realized is <laughs> when people are rude like that, it's not because of you. It's because something is wrong with them psychologically. That's what it is. It's not you. You know, so <laughs> we all know it's been slow lately. You know, it's been really slow, man. You know, so I'm going to get out there today. You know, hopefully I'll get, you know, because, uh, me going out there making $40 these days, 50 or whatever it is. I go into the grocery store, you know. You should see the way I go in the grocery store. Especially when I'm getting my avocado. I go down there like I own the mother biscuit. A uh, year, I just got paid from Uber. You know, I put my card in. Psh, you think I'm going down there to get a Lexus. So I just go in there with confidence. Like, yeah, give me my avocado because that's what I eat. So <laughs> I just want to know. And uh, I, I've been contemplating a posting here. And if... What I'm doing outside of Uber is not what you want to see on this platform. Please let me know. That way I won't, you know, kill, I won't get offend anyone. But I'm just letting people know when I'm not driving Uber, it's either I'm running <laughs> or I'm reading. So Uber allows me to focus on me. You know, it's not about the money, but Uber allows me to focus on me and work on what I need to work on spiritually, mentally. So when I'm not driving Uber, this is what I'm driving right here. I'm driving my body. So everyone, be safe out there. Yeah, this disease, I don't even know what to call it, but you know what? We're gonna get through it. And remember, this is gonna be the best year ever. You know, I don't care what anyone says. Every single Uber driver, the way I look at it is we are all a bunch of creativity people who are taking our time, who are not afraid. You know to sit because when you're sitting in that car riding you know and especially when you have to pick up all these cowboy customers that biscuit is hard you know a lot of them literally come in there to make us feel bad but we cannot look at it that way because half of these people can you imagine someone that don't even have a car he came in your car and he's telling you what to do there's a saying because people get in the car and they don't want to say hello and when i say anything they always tell me oh uh i don't I just want to mind my own business. The reason why you don't say hello is because you've never lived out of your comfort zone. When you live in another country, trust me, you learn how to say hello to everybody. So, Uber drivers, let's be safe out there. Everything is going to be okay. Trust me, it's going to be okay. You know, we got to encourage each other. We're family, you know, because we've got to feed our family. We've got to encourage one another. Everything is going to be okay. Don't be scared to go outside, you know. It's all good. Everything is going to be okay all right and let me know if this is not what you want to see on this platform and i will be very very happy and i'll start posting what i you know what i'm doing when i'm not driving one love and be safe out there